<laughs> Our story starts with Christy, who's on an exciting journey towards motherhood at 41. <laughs> she seems to have it all, except one thing, a partner to start a family. I was married briefly, and I did think that was the end. So we found 15 sexy and sophisticated men who are ready to skip the dating and go straight to baby making. I am ready to have children. My biological man clock is ticking. Push! To help Christy on her journey, we had the men show off their parenting and partnership skills. Fertility tests. And the competition is getting stiff. <laughs> <laughs> Sudden fatherhood is terrifying. So she could see who is really here to start a family with her. It's like a little barracuda. No nipples are safe. And who is still single because they aren't ready. He's pretty pissed right now. Somebody else got the, the credit for my initiative. There's a snitch in the house. Why? You gotta stop talking. I need to know. This can easily become this if it has to. Let's not forget about romance. You are the one that made this real for me. This is beautiful, right? Oh my god. This is the most romantic date I've ever been on. Here's to a love story. <laughs> take you in my arms and we'll make some babies. <laughs> and heartbreak. I'm not prepared to get my heart broken. This will be the hardest breakup of my life. <laughs> I am 40 years old, and I might not get another chance to do this. I honestly can't imagine my life without you in it. I don't want to die alone. I really wanted it. In the end, Christy will choose one man to become the father of her child. Hey there! House mom. What's gonna happen when you throw kids in the mix? Because it can't be perfect anymore. That's what it's about. And that's what's important to her. I think I might be falling in love. It's exactly what I always dreamed about. I want an invitation to the baby shower. Done. Okay. <laughs> I'm Kristen Davis. Welcome to Labor of Love. Gotta, gotta change your life. Gonna, gonna change the world. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing well? Can I get you? Can you just get a latte? Yeah. My name is Christy. I'm 41 years old. I live in Chicago, and I'm currently single. Thank you so much. I have a great life, but what's missing, it's, you know, to fall in love and start a family. I was 37 when I got married, but it got so bad that I made the difficult decision to file for a divorce six months after standing at the altar. They felt like I was never gonna get to have my own family. So all the sacrificing that I did, all the hard work, you know, why did I do it? I did choose the conventional path and it didn't work out. If I don't meet the right person, I'm prepared to become a mom on my own. I'm definitely a little anxious about my test results. Yes. I mean, at 41. The levels look very good. Um, better than your chronological age. So there's hope. There's hope. Oh my gosh, this house is insane. For as long as I can remember, like, I assumed I would become a mother, but I'm very aware of my age. I think I'm willing to take this unconventional path to parenthood because I feel like I get a story that's better than one I could have ever written for myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's more? This place is gorgeous. I could definitely make myself at home here. <laughs> Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Hi, I came to welcome you, and what Thanks. better way to welcome you to Georgia than a peach pie? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I don't you're even know sweet. if I should say this, but like, Charlotte was my girl. Oh, <laughs> you're so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Let, let's see your new house. Okay, great. Oh my gosh, I am in love with it already. It's so gorgeous. Yeah, thanks. I'm still freaking out that it's you, so <laughs> you just have to put it's up with me. me for a second. I'm going to be here with you okay. on the whole journey. Yes. And I'm so interested in your story. I, of course, never thought I'd be 41 and single, and I, you know, still want to have a family. I can do that on my own. Absolutely. You know, I feel like I can and I'm willing to do that, but I would love to have that experience with someone. Of course. And I certainly found myself in, in this predicament as well. 
Because I worked my entire 30s, I just really searched for years to try to figure out the best way for me to be able to become a mother. And for me, the answer was adoption. And I have two beautiful children now, and I really believe that it was meant to be. And in terms of dating, like, has knowing this about yourself made dating really difficult? Oh my like, gosh, so hard. <laughs> really? Either men my age have already ruled me out because they think I'm too old to have kids, or I go out with them and they assume that I don't want a family. Kind of, kind of upsets me to think about. Like, yeah. And that's what I hope to break through in this process is like really being able to talk in a real way. Yeah, I am so curious to hear about the guys. Right? Yeah, well, I've set up a Southern soiree okay. where the men are gathering now. Get really? Your party dress are you on. Me? Your bride is going to be here soon. Yeah, I've been asking. Come. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't wait. Me too. <laughs> we are really hoping that she finds that special person. It's a concern on my end because I'm not getting any younger to help out with a grandchild. So we're really looking forward to this. I'm Marcus, I'm 39 years old, I'm an anesthesiologist. I've reached a point in my life where my career is put together and I would love to have kids, but I do want to make sure that I have a partner to do that well with. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh. I'm Jason, I'm from Huntersville, North Carolina, and I own my own flooring and renovation business. I definitely want to be married and have kids one day. That's the most important thing in your life. What's up, man? What's up, man? I'm Marcus. I'm Jason. Nice to meet Very you. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. So, hey, guys. I'm Matt. I'm a former professional wrestler. All right. Wrestling connects me with my dad. When I was seven years old, my dad asked me if I wanted to see someone fly, and the connection was instant. He passed away unexpectedly, and my dad is my best friend, and that's the kind of father I want to be. So we're all going to make babies, huh? <laughs> <laughs> At least one of us is. There's some guys about it. Hey, man. How are you? My name is Alan. Good, man. I am from South Africa. I want to build a family for myself. There's a bar up there if you want to drink. Cool. Thanks. Everybody's going to be tanked by the time this whole thing goes on, huh? I don't believe in that whole philosophy of, you know, I need someone to complete me. I get an old-fashioned. You know, I come as a complete human being. But I like the idea of meeting somebody that can meet me toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Keep going. I'm just going to jump in on the conversation. No, come on in. Yeah, no, we were just talking again? about names that we forget. So, Alan. 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 Okay. I'm Jason. I'm almost definitely going to forget them again, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alan is this like South African god. Like he's like a Gregory Peck, Sylvester Stallone. And like the Peck is emphasis on this like rift body. Thanks, my man. I'm Trent, I'm a tennis instructor. I've got a huge family. Having three older sisters has made me like the woman whisperer, like a horse whisperer, but I'm like the woman whisperer. But I am the last male brooch. Fellas, hello, hello. If I don't have a boy, the brooch name dies. Trent, where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, Denver, Colorado. Where are y'all from? North Carolina. South Africa. So you speak Afrikaans? I hey, probably Afrikaans, yeah. He's so gonna, uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna use that against us. No, my, well, double, I, I play tennis. my name is Stuart. I'm 40 years old from Los Angeles, California, and I'm a CEO. Hello, hello. What's up, man? Hey, nice to meet you. I'm nice Jason. You. Nice, nice to meet you. I work so hard so I can provide this life for my family. But I work so hard, but there's no family. Can I have a vodka and soda? I want to be a father. I'm ready to be a husband and be amazing at both of those. And what's the point of having all the money in the world, but you have no, nobody to share it with? Gentlemen. What's up, man? How are you if doing? You missed a shot. I'm Marcus. Angela. Nice to meet nice you, Angela. Nice yeah, nice come on in. All right, Angela, we're playing the game. What do you do? Where huh? are you from? Um, from Miami. Yeah. Firefighter. Cool. Oh, wow. Appreciate right. your service. Thank you. My name is Angela. I grew up in a tough neighborhood, but my father made sure that we put our family first. I hope this girl has the same values that I have as far as being around family and raising children. I squeeze in here. Sure. Oh, come on. Get in there. Get in there. You didn't expect a no from that, did you? <laughs> yeah. No, we don't get a <laughs> kind of close group. The good thing is we're going to be around this one. I'm Philip. I'm a medical technician at Children's Hospital. I love working with kids more than anything in the world. If you think about kids' outlook on life, I mean, that's still my outlook on life. I mean, I'm still surprised every day of something. I feel like it's just like, like, like it's a wedding. <laughs> well, now yeah, you're, 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 I don't my want to. Man. It is going to be. Yeah, it's true, man. <laughs> I'm Tali. I'm 46. I'm old enough now to know youth is wasted on the young. I want to see like that, that connection when you first see her, you know? At my age, I can't wait to have children. That's the resolution for this year, to make that happen. So, she has yeah. to choose between us jabronis. Yeah, I know, man. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm sure she'll do the right thing. <laughs> this place is nice. I'm Keith, I'm 38 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I'm a gym owner. You always tell us to do that. <laughs> Let me, you got to do this. Your collar back here is, is popping. So I appreciate that. you. Yeah. Thank you. Cool, Recently, I helped my friend co-parent her baby for a year, and it's reinforced the fact that, yes, I do want kids. 
Hey, listen, you didn't fix my hood. <laughs> fix my hood. <laughs> collar boy. <laughs> How did I become collar boy? What's going on? Yeah. I can be explosive. I can be hot sometimes. But I'm quick to every emotion. The women who like me like me because I'm intense. Hey, you brought that on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true, I do. Hey, I'm Marcus. How you doing? Gary, nice, nice to see you, Gary. What do you do? I make baseball bats. That's oh, nice. Favorite. Out of wood. Well, that's, that's a heck of a process. I'm Gary, and I own my own company making baseball bats. I've always been very hands-on. I've mastered many things, and now I'm ready to master being a father. Weird business, man. Started it in my garage, and now we're all around the world. That's so cool. What's up, man? What do you do for a living? So I'm in, I'm in the funeral business. I'm in a funeral home. Uh, I'm a walker, and I'm a funeral director. I see people who die surrounded by love and family and people who die alone. And I 100% have a fear of dying alone. It's probably why I want to have a family. I'll tell you what, though. I'm probably I'm the reason why I'm not married. I mean, it's me. It's not any, any, girl, any girl's problem. Like, I literally have been the guy who's been on call every night looking at this phone. But it's horrible to date someone like that. Yeah. My name's Kyle. I'm 6'8". I'm really excited about being a dad. Very nice to meet you. I'm Jason. Jason Kyle. Yeah, no, I got a big hand. I did five years in the Air Force. Look at that. Now I'm realizing, well, if I have kids now and they're 20, I'm going to be 60. That changes things, so the clock's ticking. You used to play basketball or volleyball? Volleyball. Volleyball. Yeah. Volleyball. Yeah. Dude, me too. Really? Yeah. Where'd you play? I mean, nowhere professional. Ah, OK. <laughs> I'll <laughs> bet you up, though. Hey, what's up, guys? I just got invited to the party. How you doing? Hey. I'm Jason. Nice to meet you. Doing? Walker. Walker. Nice yeah, nice to meet you. Hey, thanks, man. I'm Mario, and I own a business in healthcare. And my ideal situation would be to be married and have at least two kids. I'm the kid from Queens with big dreams. Although I think we're gonna have some competition with some of the height here. <laughs> so you obviously have the tall alliance going on over there. Like we'll be like the short blazer alliance right here. <laughs> I'm the shortest dude here. What's up, man? How you doing? Budge. Nice to meet you. Nice budge. to meet you as well. Yeah. Welcome. How are you saying butter budge? It's actually budge, B-U-D-G-E, you right? Wow. Nice to meet you. The uh, the beverages are upstairs if you like. My name is Budge. I'm a conservative man with morals, and we're here to hopefully be a father or maybe find the love of our life. So I'd prefer not to have a cocktail. Seriously, you don't drink? I do. I do. If you don't. No, I do. I, I don't so want to press you, but if you do. I just had water and watched everyone else have cocktails. Uh, been married before? Have any mm. kids? Yeah, I was so married before like from like when I was 24 to 28. Like, but I don't have any kids. Okay. Yeah. You were he, married. He, he did it. He went full. full you went for it. Like, I knew that wasn't the person for me. She's a great person. She just ain't the person for me. And I knew that. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. I'm Kristen Davis, and I am your host for this journey. Are you ready to meet the mother to be? Yes. All right. Meet Christy. Good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I'm nervous too, so. <laughs> Christy walks down these steps very gracefully. She's got a huge, beautiful smile. She's obviously amazing. And the whole time I'm thinking to myself, I hope you're ready to make a lot of babies with me. Oh my gosh. I feel like you guys have been partying without me. It's really not fair. Would you like something to drink by me? I really do. What would you like? Um, like a glass of champagne oh, it, would be bro. great. Oh, Thank you. Make no I <laughs> 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 So I saw Stuart's game right off the bat, and I thought, damn it, Trent, this should have been you. Thank you You're so welcome. much. OK, I'm going to I'm gonna mingle. Shh, here she goes. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm coming Come join to us, table. please. We're glad to have you. Absolutely. <laughs> welcome to our table. You are exceeding yes. expectations I am? all around. OK. Yes. Are you guys comfortable sharing with me what kind of made you decide to say yes to this? Well, I was like, you got to like open yourself up one day. And, and so like I'm here to take that giant leap. I've been thinking a lot over the last couple of years, like, how do I really find the girl who I just love? And I just thought, hey, I'm going to go. OK. I come from a family with a lot of love. And I've wanted that my whole entire life. Life. Yeah. I mean, I've been waiting to meet these guys, and I think I have so much belief that one of these guys is not only the guy that I'm going to fall in love with, but he is the future father of my children. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hi. Will you come join me on the porch? Yes, of course. Come on up. Matthew's achieved being a wrestler. He's on his way to achieving being a husband and a dad. This may be his love story. Oh, All right, gosh. you guys. Part of this process is figuring out if you're all fit enough to be fathers. I mean that in the most literal sense possible. Waiters, please come in. Is that a shot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
Y'all are ruthless. Man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, everybody needs to take one, please. Yo, <laughs> Lordy. Those are specimen cups. I did not see this coming, no pun intended. <laughs> yep, this uh, makes it real. Right. We're not here to mess around. Okay, guys, follow me. Come on, Christy. They're not wasting Bring any those time. Cups. We're not here to mess around. I feel like I'm involved in a scandal right now. Yo. Mobile collection center. Since there's no way to make this less awkward, I suggest we just get right to the task. <laughs> <laughs> what better way to start this journey than to find out if you're capable of creating a child? Oh. This is savage right here. Well, this is awkward, but this is an absolute necessary step for anyone who wants to be a father, you know? Come on, I'm not doing this. I'll just sit there. Like, nah, I ain't doing it. I mean, I'm send the limo, no. get my luggage, yeah. I'm going home. Okay. Yeah. I've done the fertility testing myself, and if these guys are here to become dads, I need to know that they're gonna make it possible for me to become a mom. Fertility tests are greatly impacted by activity levels. Raise your hand if you have done something like this <laughs> in the past five days. Yeah, what's today? <laughs> the past five no, days. Oh, shoot. Right here. This girl. That's all right. It's no shame. You liars. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> you liars. Liars. And the rest of you liars, raise your hand too. Right wow. here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, just, I just, I should have just left two hands up. Yeah. Tally. Yes. Your room is. First. Oh, wow. I know it is a little crazy. Yes, we love to be hurt. Yes, good for you. I, I, I think you'll be fine. All right. <laughs> you can do it, Tali. Two words. Mazel tov. Make it happen. I'll see you guys on the outside. OK, he's feeling pretty confident. OK, very good, very good. Philip. Philip and Gary, very good. Thank you. Thank All right. You. My gosh, I mean, so many things are going through my head. Like, will I be able to have kids? Because I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. Sorry. Marcus Whoa. and Alan. That's me. Okay, Ready to go. Good. If I don't come back, You're tell the, the world my there. story. I gotta get in the mood. I gotta get in the mood. Have fun, buddy. Yeah, this is gonna be great. There's five guys doing the exact same thing next to me. This bus has got a rhythm going to it. I mean, the only thing you can really do is try to get into the rhythm. Tali! Knocking it out. Use the hand sanitizer. Let's yeah, go. Baby. Okay, Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. Okay, you can do it. Let's go, Kyle. You've done this before, man. Oh, and Matthew. Look, I'm a professional wrestler. My sperm will be able to do backflips off the top rope, body slam 400 pound guys, and entertain millions and millions of people around the world. I got this. Here you go, Matt. Welcome back. There's some strip, strip, strip. Don't be bashful. I love you. I love you. Too soon. Too soon. Let's go, budge. At this point, I'm thinking there's no way in the world but okay, she's the reason I'm here. I can't wait to spend one-on-one -on -one time with Christy. So this drill is gonna get a little messy. Hey, I'm giving you that. Yeah, that's how I'm giving you. I didn't see any hand sanitizer, so. <laughs> He's high-fiving everyone the minute they come out. Yeah, like, okay. I don't wanna touch okay. anyone right now. No, nope, hands are myself. Seriously. No. No. You finish that thing off, huh? Everything. You, your sample's gonna have cross eyes in there. Go, son. <laughs> Go, son. Hey, oh think, think, think hey, about me. Oh, hey, no, hold his hand. <laughs> you see Jay smooth on the end. Game time. You do it. You do it. Yeah, let's go. All right, you guys. Hang in there. Yep. It's going to be worth it. Thank we you. We are going to have fun, I promise. All right. <laughs> the fact that all of these guys were willing to do this test in front of me, I'm pretty convinced they're here for the right reasons. Yeah, of course. Ah, right, thank you. But if these guys don't pass the test, Got it. it's going to be hard for me to move those guys forward. Let's go. Let's right. go. Are we going inside? Good. Let's go, right, let's go yeah. inside. I think Walker needs to slow down and find somebody. I need an <laughs> aunt. I need, I, I'm bored. Great job, guys. But when it comes to talking about this, I am not the most qualified person. I would like to turn it over to an expert. Dr. Kaplan Thanks, is Christie's fertility doctor that we brought in from Chicago. Dr. Kaplan, would you do the honors? I will. When we did the analysis, uh, we looked at four things. We looked at the volume of sperm, the concentration, which is how much is there, the motility, and what we call the morphology, which is the appearance of the sperm. We know that women, as they age, their fertility drops. How many of you here 
think that men have also a biological clock. On some level, yeah. yeah they do. Yeah, on some level, you got to. They yeah, do. Yeah. That's true. We never thought so, but there is a biological clock in men also. All kinds of thoughts are going through my head, and I am nervous. I'm 38. I haven't checked into that side of things ever. Shoot, you know, like maybe the journey's over right here. Maybe I'm not for it. In the sperm counts, there is a tremendous variation between all of you. There's an extreme of 300 million sperm all the way down to 7 million. Colleen is going to hand out your test results. Wow. Thank you. When it comes to actual baby making, these numbers are important. 96%. I don't have no idea what my means. <laughs> what does my mean? Oh, man, yeah, I'm over 100 million, baby. I'm fertile, something to the tune of 173 million active swimmers. Shoot, you know, I'm ready, let's have some kids, you know? Okay, so remember everybody, this was to test your fertility and the first place award with 317 million active swimmers. Showing off. Goes to... Alan. Get out of town, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Numbers are great. Yeah. Nice job. I gotta say, before the joy even kind of found its place, it was shock. I, I, I was, what? <laughs> For all 317 million swimmers, <laughs> this is for them. Okay, guys. Yeah, Nicely done. Out. Nicely done. Yeah, nice. It just means you guys got a lot of build up. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little jealous, but as a doctor, like, it takes a lot to have a kid more than just like your sperm count. I just want to say thank you so much for today. I think you guys handled this so well, and I just can't wait to get to know you more. So with that, good night. And you guys, just watch out for the girl next door. <laughs> On that note, shall we see where we live? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Go. Let's go. All right, let's take a line. You guys want to hand them down? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we get to the house, and you know, it's beautiful. It's huge. And then you realize, wait, there's two. And then it hit me, man, we got the guy's house and we got her house. I know, right? Hey, guys. Welcome home. What's the slumber party? Hey, it's the girl next door. <laughs> First impressions are important. There's 15 really cool, fun guys here. And you're going to have to be in the forefront. Christy. To make a splash. And, and that's my game plan. Hey, Christy, I just wanted to say good night. Hi. Good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> good night. Right. Oh, oh, this is nice. Oh, wow. Proper dining nice. room area. Nice. Love it. Nice. Great. This is a good gym. Nice. This is awesome. Did you guys see wow, this? Look, fatherhood. That's awesome right there. This reminds us why we're here, man. Yeah. Fatherhood. That means making babies. It means raising babies. Yeah. And raising babies. That's yeah. right. That's just making babies. You got to make it. Yeah, right. You know what? Yeah. Touche. Very good. I'm ready for bed. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Party time. Game's on. Is it on tap? Hell yeah. Yo, get you a little something, something. Let's go. Let's go. Jason is drunk. His speech has clearly slurred as he keeps drinking. He's saying some obnoxious things. If you do not think something, I've got your ass. What does that mean? I would imagine that if Christy was a fly on the wall tonight, she wouldn't be happy. Is he really here for the right reasons, you know? Here. Are you going to throw up? Yeah. Come on, let's go do it. And no, do it. no, no, stop. Jason is a country boy. That's his truth, and uh, there's going to be all types here. You know, some guys are going to drink nothing, and some guys are going to drink a lot. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. I'll take you to the toilet, dude. Come on. It's just, I was ready to catch him. If he was going to fall, I was ready to catch him. <laughs> the day that Mario has a child, you will guarantee that he's going to be in that baby's life forever. Life. Yes. And hopefully it'll be a little boy like you. You had a rough two days, huh? I just don't like not having control of myself, you know? Hell, I don't know. Maybe I'm not comfortable with who I am. And coming from a small town, there's a lot of pressure for me. But uh, I came here to be a father. I've got to turn this thing around. At the end of the day, if that's all that's happened, 
I can mend that, right? Yeah, of course. The past is a pass, like literally. When Jason was born, he was real cuddly, and he was a little bit of heaven and a little bit of heck. He was then, and he still is. Guys, there's a message on the what? TV thing. So welcome to the neighborhood. I hope you're enjoying your new home. Now that we all know that you're fit to be fathers, it's time to get to know your new neighbor. There's a barbecue set up for you out back. Come on, go. Let's go. Come on, why not? Get out. This way. Oh, wow. Hey. Party time. It's nice to be outside. So how about, I mean, Christy's next door, right? It'd be nice if she came over and joined the barbecue. How do we, like, uh, serenade her? Serenade her to come over. Do we all know a song that we can serenade Cindy with to get over here? Cindy? Who's, uh, who's Cindy? Sorry. Alan was calling her Cindy. I mean, nobody must be called the wrong name. You're obviously not paying attention. You need to focus. I know. Hey, Alan, you go ahead and serenade Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Christy. 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 Oh, <laughs> How do, we, how do we, like, uh, serenade her? Serenade her to come over. Right. Do we all know a song that we can serenade Cindy with to get over here? Cindy? Who's, uh, who's Cindy? Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I mean, I remember her name. What is it? Christine or Cinnamon or Cindy? Should we serenade Christy to get it over here? <laughs> we should. Yeah. Let's just yell her name. Christy. Christy. Christy! 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 Christy. Hey! Welcome to the party! Hi, guys. Hello. hello, hello. This is such a great group of guys that, you know, I know even this first elimination, it's gonna be hard. And that's why it's so important to use my time wisely and really try to get to know all of these guys tonight. I mean, I always like to par start a party with well, champagne. Trent, Trent, I think he's go. gonna get you. Yeah, one right now. Oh! Yeah. Christy shows up and she is stunning. So as the guys were swarming around her, I thought I'd sneak on over and get her a little bubbly. I thought if I could get Christy a drink, maybe I could be the first to uh, you know, work my magic. Christy. Thank you so much. That was a good little so champagne much. pop. <laughs> that was. Your timing was impeccable. Speaking of timing, do you mind if I steal you for a bit? Sure. You're welcome, guys. I'm going to continue that thought. We will. Sorry, okay. Will. Trent. What do you think about these seats right here? Well, on that note. Mind if I steal you for a little bit? <laughs> yeah, come right into my office. Yeah. <laughs> So one thing I just wanted to talk to you about a little bit. Yeah. Throughout my life, I've always been kind of a carefree, free-living kind of guy, right? Which could come off as sometimes a little unserious. <laughs> but don't let that fool you on, on my seriousness on having a family. I know when I saw you walk down the steps, I thought, oh my gosh, that could be my future mother to my children. Um, so that was just a very exciting thing for me, and I wanted to let you know that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, cheers. And let's go mingle. OK, sounds good. I think it's interesting what these guys choose to share with me. And for Trent, he is ready for this part of life, you know, to get serious and to start a family. And that's what I'm looking for, and I feel like that's what's hard to find. I want you to know, one, I'm here for you. And most importantly, I'm here for the possibility. Do we have children? Do something I really want? Right. And just be open to the possibility. Right. I like Stuart a lot. I think he's a gentleman. This is a guy that I can see being a great dad, too. As a physician, like I went part-time recently to you know, make space for having a child and starting a family. I mean, it's like I'm talking right now, so this is freaking me out a little uh, bit because everything okay. you're saying is like how I feel about myself. With Marcus, I feel like he's totally cute. He's a doctor. <laughs> we had a little playful time, you know? I mean, big time crush happening right now but I still have a lot of guys that I need to talk to. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a father. Okay. I mean, I've always wanted to have kids. Yeah. Dating's always been hard for me, you know. Like, it's been hard, hard for me for in South me. Africa. Period. Right. Anywhere. <laughs> no, I get it. Alan, can I interrupt you? I'll happily give you Sorry, time. brother. Uh, nice to talk to you. You as well, Alan. Enjoy, buddy. Hello. Hi, Jason. Here's you a little oh, girl. OK, where did you pull these from? I wouldn't know where to go. Is this your rebellious side? Yeah, that's my wild side. OK, so tell me more about yourself. I own my own flooring company. Oh. I've done that for a long time. My dad was in that line of work. That was my dad had a flooring company oh. with his brothers. Really? Yes. I'm feeling really conflicted because Jason was really drunk at the party, and he definitely didn't give off the best first impression. But the Jason I'm talking to you tonight, I could see him being father material. Right? Yeah. Excuse right? me, guys. Yeah. yeah. Can I jump oh, in here? Hi. Absolutely. OK. You. Yeah. You want me to? Kelly's 46. He's probably one of the older guys in this group. He might be someone that I try to talk to about why he hasn't 
started a family at this point. I mean, what's it been like for you? Yeah, it's been, for us, it's been so overwhelming. Yeah. I can only imagine what it's like for you. It's all on you. you so know? how was going through the mobile sperm unit, test results, moving into a house with 14 other guys? <laughs> I'm assuming you've done none of those things before. It's, it's been, it's been crazy. So tell me what you're thinking right now. Like, how's your day going? I mean, it's good. I'm yeah. here with you guys. Yeah. But I guess I'm like kind of curious just what made you kind of want to be here and where you feel like you're at in your life. I'm looking for a life partner. But I want to, I want to talk about you. I have questions, of course, but Tali was totally deflecting. He's one of those guys that you can't get a straight answer out of. I'd like to learn more about you. OK. Well, first of all, we got a question for you. So have you learned a lot of things just about yourself just while you've been here? Right? Yeah. I can't tell if he's just disinterested or if he's hiding something. And either of those scenarios is honestly not OK with me. I'm 41. I want to have a baby this year. I just don't have time to figure out who Tali is if he won't let me in. Well, first of all, we got a question for you. I mean, so have you learned a lot of things just about yourself just while you've been here the last couple of days? Yeah. Hey, Tali, you have a phone call. <laughs> it's incredibly important. <laughs> Someone says she's your wife? <laughs> I don't know. I'm really putting myself out there and letting myself be vulnerable with these men. So I need them to be doing the same thing. I had an opportunity to pursue my dream. I became a professional wrestler. Does that mean you'd be the cool dad? 100%, but yeah. without. I'd be responsible for that. Yeah, yeah a little I'd, I'd different, great right? Role model. You know, you know, Matthew. I hate to break so, up the tea party, so but my, it's my but I gotta. Love. It is so much trying to date 15 guys at once. Oh, look at what's so, happening uh, the here. Host here ordered some champagne for you guys. Wow, so this is from much. Keith. Appreciate you, you. I'm trying to remember who's who. This age kid's got to be a priority. You know what I mean? Yeah. It didn't happen this time in my life, but hopefully it will. You know. I have one brother. He just had his third boy, and seeing like him and his kids, and like that part of life that I'm missing, yeah. I think that was something that really changed uh, my motivation to like start a family. And it's tougher than I thought, but I'm dating to fall in love with the guy who could be the father of my children. Hi, Chris, hi. Philip, how are could you? I, good, I'm good. Sit down, do you please. Mind, or can we, could I, can we go inside? I'll show you the house a little yes. bit and I warm up. Yes, I'm, let's do that. I brought my jacket okay. I never wear. Perfect. <laughs> Philip, he's so nervous, but he's really cute. I hope you like these. I truly believe these are moon rocks. That's so I cool. I bring these because they make me feel comfortable yeah. here. I grew up near the ocean. So I ended up bringing some moon rocks so I could feel a little bit at home. But I just wanted to give them to you. Thank you, you so much. Sure. Do you have pockets? Um, <laughs> I'll find a way. Okay. <laughs> I figured it was just perfect to kind of share that with her. Do you feel like you're ready to have a family? Yeah. I work at Jones Hospital. Okay. I'm a medical technician, but I always believe like something's gonna happen by chance. Right. And I'm hoping, you know, things progress. But I could like be a single dad, and I would adopt in a couple years. Right. I'm a little worried with Philip. I do think he is a little more shy. Okay. Bye, Philip. Bye. Bye. I'm willing to help this long a little bit, but I'm also looking for a man who is also on the same timeline as me. Philip does love kids. I don't feel he's in a rush right no, no, now. No. He knows what he wants, and I think he's chomping at the bit to have his own. Oh, everybody say hi. hi. And the Lord and the Lord. Hi, guys. I just wanted to say thank you so much for having me over. I'm going to say good night. Right now, my front runners really are the guys who are very clear about what they want and their timeline for getting it. I think Stuart, both nights. Trent stepped up today. I mean, Matt, it's the little things, I think, that really show me how they're gonna be, not only with me, but with future children. Trent, he is the last of the Mohicans as far as the brooch name on my side, so we'd love to see a little brooch boy come along. So it begins. The very first elimination. Have a seat, young Philip. Or in, so it ends, I should say. Here we go. Yeah. Man, while we're waiting, guys, it's been a pleasure getting to know everybody. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's about to get weird. Are you ready for your first elimination? I'm How so excited to hear everything. Now, let's start with Trent. OK. Moving a man to let's keep dating means they'll stay for another week. Oh. She's looking back at the she's looking, she's looking mobile back at device. Oh, here we go. She's playing. 
If you leave a man in the we need to talk box, you'll have the chance to let them know how they impressed you this week yeah. or explain the reason you'll be sending them home. Try was one of my favorites last night. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we had a good conversation. He's an interesting guy. Oh. Thank you. He's a, oh, Trent there. Trent. You're a keeper, baby. You're moved. What? Oh. Kyle. Mmm. I really like Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. Kyle. Oh, Marcus. There you go, Marcus. Doctor. Your pride kicks in a little bit. Like, yo, you're measuring cats up. Like, she's going to choose him over me? Well, we know. Uh, Alan. Mr. 300, there is no way you're going. What do you think of Jason? Jason. I will be the first to say I did not like his behavior at our first meeting. Yeah, I was I mean, a little it, concerned. It really concerned me, yeah. too. So I'm not sure. Look at those baby blues, man. OK, so Angelo, should we go to his profile page? Yeah. Oh, oh. she got to look at that man in that suit right there. Right. He's a firefighter. Yeah. Which that is right. admirable. He's super passionate about it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my god. We are down to oh. the nitty. There we go. Oh. It's all flop. Wow. I mean, this is the first elimination, so it's definitely nerve wracking, but Based on the little time that I have with Christy, I mean, I feel like my heart is here and it is not definitely not leaving yet. Are you ready to lock in your decision? Once we do this, there's no changing your mind. OK. I know. There you go. Whoa, whoa. Is this your final decision? What? Oh. what? Whoa. Oh, oh, man. Bro. Oh, God. Great, great. This is just nuts. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. While it may feel awful for you guys standing here, it's not necessarily a bad thing. We need to talk could mean Christy wanted a chance to tell you that she appreciates you, or it could mean you're going to go home. Please know that this isn't a decision that Christy takes lightly. If she decides to keep dating, you'll join the other men who are safe for the week downstairs in the fatherhood room. Oh my goodness. Oh, they got the good stuff too. Fatherhood. Nice. All right. Nice. Christy, please come in. Hi, Pete. I think it's important for me to kind of acknowledge the good and bad face to face. You know, all the guys I'm going to speak with, there's actually a couple guys here that I really wanted to take the time to let them know how special I think they are. And the guys are kind of waiting to see what side they're on. I'm going to be back here if you need me, OK? okay? You got this. I think, think either so? Stuart or Tali Stuart come back. Tali? I don't think okay. any of them are coming back. Tali. Yes. Hi, Christy. Hi. Last night, we had a great time together. But I had a hard time getting you to open up. And I found you to be evasive. I don't see us starting a family together. It's unfortunate, of course, that we couldn't communicate a little better. And it was still a phenomenal experience. Thank you. Let me give you a hug. Thanks, Tali. I wish you the best. You're welcome, sweetheart. The connection just wasn't there. And you can't force that kind of thing. I still want to settle down and have a family. I'm 46 years young, and I'm ready to go. Well, who do you think's coming back out of If someone's coming back through that door, Why I think do you, it's well, still... That's interesting. I just think that right. Philip's personality may be taken as, hey, he's too laid back. Okay. And you got Stuart super strong. And, yeah. and Stuart is going to fight like hell to stay. Stuart, as you know, there's a lot of men here that I need to get to know. You've made me feel seen appreciated and like a lady. So I want to say thank you, and I'd like to keep dating. You. <laughs> <laughs> Please join the other fathers-to-be downstairs. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Poor Stuart, I really think he thought I was going to eliminate him. I wanted to acknowledge him for really taking care of me. I think he's going to give me a hard time about that, honestly. OK, OK, we're going to talk. Thank you. <laughs> yep, I am safe. I appreciate you for appreciating me. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, man. He deserves to stay. Philip, you were one of the guys here that I was most looking forward to getting to know. I think you're so attractive and so positive, but I just don't feel like we're on the same timeline. I don't see us starting a family together. Man. I'm 
sorry. I appreciate the interactions we had. Thank you so much. Jason. Philip is a tough one for me because he is one of the guys that I'm really attracted to and I want us to click, but I just don't feel like he is ready to start a family in the near future. I totally respect her decision. I mean, this is the universe saying, Philip, you know, get back home and, and get to know some other people. Oh. So, Jason. Yes, ma'am. I think you're very charming. Thank you. Thank I you. love that you and my dad kind of share the same line of work. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought that was yeah, a that really neat be, coincidence. But, you know, I think I still need to understand your drinking. Well, I want to apologize to you. Coming from a small town, I really, I let the nerves get the best of me. I had too much to drink. Okay. I mean, that's all it was. Like, I haven't drank since. Okay. And uh, I'm really not planning on it. Okay. Yeah. Join those guys downstairs. <laughs> what do you say? I will do that. Okay. I can understand that this situation is really overwhelming, especially to someone like Jason, who comes from a small town. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and I think after talking to Jason at the barbecue, I can see that there's another side to Jason that I think is worth exploring. I'm sure that's worth a bottle of champagne. Yes. I'm sure that's worth a bottle of champagne. I mean, well, yeah. Jason was sort of the life of the party when we first got here. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yep. And I'm thinking to myself, uh-oh, here we go again. Look at that moonshine. <laughs> Next time on Labor of Love. It's silly out here. Hello. Hi. Tonight, you will be spending the night here. Yeah, right. <laughs> no way. Not only are we dressed completely wrong, but it is freezing. This is VIP at Burning. <laughs> This is amazing. Yeah. I just got some information that there's some people that don't want to be here. I heard me, you don't even know my name. There's a snitch in the house. Oh. But obviously, she's uh, getting that information from one of you guys. You know, the game of Clue begins. That actually gave me such a. What? Is that real? What is what real? It's a <laughs> for me. <laughs> Made in Georgia.